And hopefully we don't have flammable barns anymore. Or any other flammable parts of this farm. It's nice for them to let me keep my spell. Uh, let's put on that just in case. Well, nothing's burning. There she is! Chapter! Zieri wants her alive! What in the hells is going on? Oh, you know. Things have turned out well for us, my brothers. The girl and the Kalakcha, both within our reach. Take one team and capture the girl alive. The rest of us will deal with this one. You guys seriously overestimate yourselves. And like I was about to say was, when she asked what's going on, I was just you know, the usual adventuring stuff. Have some lightning. <laughs> you're dead. Um, okay, you're heading for me. So, take an acid arrow. He missed. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to focus on you then. He's almost nearly dead, and we can finish that off with what do I want to do? Arc lightning. Nope, we're going to go firebrand. Because when you're a wizard, just nuke everybody. Or not. Because they die. Because my teammates kill him. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to saving you in a sec. Let me just uh, do the important stuff. What was that armor? Uh, Chainmail plus one. Calgar, you carry that. Because it's all but useless. And... Barn's still burnt. Oh, let's go save her. Door's locked. How am I supposed to save you if you lock the door? Because I have to go to the front door. Because, you know, when saving somebody, niceties. Split up. And search the rooms. It should not be difficult to find the girl in here. So the Kalakja survived. Deal with him first. The girl can wait. The land is against you! And so's my magic, which means you're gonna die. Have some arc lightning. I have called the choice. And then some fire for good measure. I'm just hitting up all the elements. Now some acid. That miss. I think they're immune to acid. Which I should remember from now on. And behind door number one is the wine cellar. The most important part of the house. But nothing to loot. And I think that's the door outside. This house is a lot bigger than it looked on the outside. Is this a TARDIS? It's bigger on the inside than the outside? Don't worry, I'll talk to you, uh, one second. You again. Don't come any closer. Uh, I kind of just saved your life again. Um, let's see. There's no time to explain. You have to come with me right now. What? I'm not going anywhere. Let's see what they're made of. No. Why won't you all just leave me alone? Because you're important to the story or something. Um, and you're related to a warlock. Okay, so they're not immune to acid. They just seem to be immune to acid arrow sometime. Um, I have another arc lightning. Okay, I, for a minute I thought I didn't get that off. Um, 
die. Ooh, I actually hit him. And have a splash of acid. Wow, either I did 22 damage or that was someone else. Another scroll I'll probably never use. I don't know, I've just never used scrolls. Just, well, I think I've used them a little bit, but... I didn't want the bullets, I'm going to have to drop those. It's just they've just, most of the time they're just not useful. Okay, so that's what the other door was. Um, now where did you run to? Into the kitchen. Did you run back outside? Um, where did you go? Or did you run to the wine cellar? Nope. You must have run back outside then. How can I help? Yes. You can't help right now. Unless you can help me find the farm girl. And can't see a thing. Was I right? Did she run outside? You have a stove inside. Why are you cooking outside? Um, I guess not. That's the world map. Where'd you go? Is there a second story to the house that I missed? Everybody, follow me! There has to be a second story then. Hear that, or I'm completely blind. Did I go in here? No, I didn't go in here. And she was right there all along. I'm an idiot. Um, let's get me out. That sounded weird and creepy, and I didn't mean it that way. Stop right there! What do you want with me? I'm trying to rescue you. I don't even know. Yeah, you do. Oh, well. That's that's my house. First my barn, now my house. This brings back memories. Looks like those things are trying to smoke us out. Well, it worked. Let's get out of here before this place collapses. Well, you shouldn't be building your houses out of flammable material or so flammable materials. Okay, out the back door. And great, more you guys. Have a firebrand. <laughs> That's how we do it. Wow, <laughs> and you're just you're so dead you're so dead that you don't even know you're dead. So my barn and home are both burned to the ground. Any more of your help and all of Highcliff will be the next to go. Anyway, I think it's best we part ways now. You go your way, I'll go mine. But I just rescued you. Look, I barely know you, but what I do know is whenever you show up, trouble's not far behind. So I think it's best we say our farewells now. But I rescued you! Really? Really? That... that just happened. You know what? Cloud kill your ass. I got three of them. Oh, they... Didn't die. I thought you guys were dead. 
But you soon will be. Yep, you're dead. Okay. Chandra, now will you listen to me? Thanks. Maybe I should have stuck with you after all. Yeah, I can kind of take care of myself. Uh, let's see, what should we say? You're lucky I um, need you alive or I would have killed you? No, we're not going to say that because we're not evil. That guy's still standing up dead over there. Yeah, I'll say that. Do you think you can trust me now? Honestly, I don't know. But I'm done running from you. For now. Look, we really need to get out of here before more of these creatures show up. Do you know of anywhere safe that we can talk? Yes, we will go to my uncle's tavern in Neverwinter. And I promise if you stay with me, even though I burnt down your barn and your house, I will try not to set you on fire. No promises, though. I am a wizard. Stuff explodes around me. Neverwinter? The only safe place you can think of is in Neverwinter? Yep. I agree. And why are we bringing her to the sunken flagon? I don't want to have to watch her all the time. You don't have to watch me. I can take care of myself. You're the ones who need watching. I'm surprised all of Neverwinter hasn't burned down while you were there. Trust me, if I wanted to burn a place down, you'd know. But if you don't want to come with us, fine by me. <sighs> Why not? My barn's gone, my house is gone. Are we leaving right away? Sure. Well now, I see you've brought someone new to my establishment. Now who is this young lady? This is Shonda, Shonda Duncan. I burnt down her barn and her house, so... Yeah, I'm kind of responsible. Please, lass, come in, come in. Make yourself at home. This here is the sunken flagon. I own it. You'll be safe here. Krabnar, play a tune or something. Make the lady feel welcome. Not the gnome! Why, of course! I was just thinking. Look, we don't need a lecture on what passes through your head and out your mouth. Just play! Well, the innkeeper certainly runs hot and cold. Eh, yeah, he's family. All right, I agreed to let you bring me here. Now I want some answers. Not all of us wanted you here. Trust me. What happened at my farm? Who were those creatures, and why were they after me? Well, like I said, what happened at your farm is... It was on fire. I'm sorry for that. Um, those creatures were also kind of my fault, too. Uh, I'll sound, I'm a wizard, so I'm going to sound mysterious. Calm down. Calm down? You try being calm when your farm is attacked by monsters and burnt to the ground. I call that Tuesday. I'm just sorry you're here. Mishka. Well, that's more like it. Keep it up and I may forgive you for what happened to my farm. Maybe. Well, it wasn't that great of a farm, to be honest. Right. So who are these gith... gith Whatever they are, and why were they trying to kill me? They didn't want to kill you. They were after information. What could I possibly know that would be important? I lived on that farm all my life. Did they want to learn how to milk cows? Maybe. But I think it's more about that you're related to Armin Jero. Armin Jero? He was my grandfather. Or my great-grandfather. Or was it my great-great-grandfather? I heard he was an eccentric but humble wizard. But he died a long time ago. What's he got to do with this whole mess? A lot, apparently. You know about his you haven? You told me about the haven when I was a child. I thought it was just a tale she used to make me do my chores on time. She always threatened to lock me in there if I wasn't a good girl. That sounds less like a haven and more like a dungeon. <laughs> They'd be a good girl and tell me where the haven is. What else did your mother tell you about it? said his haven was like a hundred twisting corridors jumbled together into an inescapable labyrinth, filled with the deadliest traps and evil beasts conjured from the abyss, or something like that. I think she was exaggerating. I hope she was exaggerating, because that doesn't sound fun. I can see why you have nightmares Perhaps at the place. it is just childhood stories, but even if I knew where the haven was, it's the last place I'd want to go. 
Besides, I'd probably set it on fire with my record. I have no idea where it is. Knowing its location wouldn't help you much anyway. My mother said something about a path you have to walk to get to it. Like a series of challenges, but I don't remember what they are. She also said getting into the Haven requires a pint of fresh blood. And not just any blood will do. It has to be Jero blood. Oh, Wait. Good thing you're here. Is that why you rescued me? So you could bleed me? Nope. Oh, I get it now. I was wondering why we brought her here. She was really starting to bother me. If you think I'm going to let you drag me into some dark dungeon I used to have nightmares about, think again. Uh, you've been through too much. I'll find another way. It's important to me. Maybe I'll never winter. You know anything? Well, before we say that, let's see if we I have no know anything else. Him, but my mother told me that he saw me a few times as a babe. But I was too young to remember. Mother said he would cradle me and sing to me and I would pull out his beard hairs. <laughs> Just keep your distance from me, lass. <laughs> True, if he's eccentric and humble, it's not like he created Death Trap Dungeon. You know, I never thought of it that way. You may be right. Look, I can barely think, let alone stand. I really need rest. We can talk about this tomorrow. Is she sleeping here too? Yes, because we don't have a house. So where else is she going to sleep? And really, the Githyanki capture her. Alarm! Alarm! All the doors are opening. Alarm! Alarm! Everyone, get out of bed and grab a weapon. The flagon's under attack. Well, at least it reset my spells. But before that, let's get the. Stuff up. Oh, they might kill him before I get there. That's good enough. Open the door. And hello, Gith Yankee. Well, set your ass on fire. And then tenderize it with some acid. That's one down. Where are you? Are you almost dead? No, you're badly wounded. Uh, sound orb. Eh, I took you down. Um, okay, you guys are all in there. Anyone else gonna jump out me? Nope, just commoners. Um,. Why'd they have to be all the way over here? Crap. Um. What was it? Oh, it's Duncan. Don't worry, Uncle. I'm coming to save you. Arc Lightning. That's not the people I wanted to hit, but I'll take it. And I'll use magic missile on ya. It looks like no one's gonna die until I get there. Come on, he's almost dead. And he's dead. Let's get the important stuff. Aha! Spellcaster! Um... Let's grease them first. That'll make it a little easier. Then what else do we got? Lin's, of course, taking a lot of damage. Good hit on that, and... Actually, no, I don't want that. 
They're almost dead. Now nah, we'll just use that instead. I so wish we could light that grease on fire. That would just be awesome. And we saved the inn. That La Chandra has been taken? How in the hells did those Githyanki get into the city? Does that matter? You'd best hurry if you want to get her back. Look, this one has a sprig of duskwood trapped in his boot. That means they came from deep within Luskin territory, and that's where they'd be returning to. Luskin? That's your territory, Bishop. Yes, but it's not my problem. I'm not going into Luskin territory for some farm girl, and certainly not with any kin of yours, Duncan. Yeah, I could, <laughs> it's your duty to rescue her. He's a bad guy. I'm, I don't think he's going to go for the whole duty guy. Well, not bad guy, but an evil character. Uh, John Teleskin will have some fun whether we find Chandra or not. Um, What would I say? No, because I'm not lawful good. Um, That's probably what I would say. Is your whole family deaf, Duncan? Like I said, not my problem. You'll help them, Bishop, whether you like it or not. And what makes you think? The stare. Calling it due, are you, Duncan? Are you sure? A woman's life is at stake, Bishop. If that's what it takes to move you to do the right thing, then so be it. Fine. It will be worth it to be rid of you, and for such a small price, too. You're a fool, Duncan. So be it. All right, pack your bags and grab your weapons. We're bound for the Luskin border. Follow my lead and don't try to be clever. If the Luskins catch us, they'll use us for target practice. Get the orders around here. We'll go when I say not just yet. Let me get ready. Yep, don't we're gonna do that. Don't keep waiting too long. I may just change my mind about helping you bring back the farmer girl. Well, I think I am going to end that here. Actually, we have to get our group together, but I think we're going to go with our usuals. Nishka, you're coming with me, of course, and sorry, Kelgar, you're going to have to set this one out. Actually, Ranger, they don't have, no, I might need the lockpick. Um, and, of course, Aline, you're coming with us since you're our only healer. Okay, but like I was saying, I'm going to call that here. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time where it looks like we are going to Luskin. Until then. <laughs>